Hi and welcome back to Let's Learn to Sew. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use the roller foot for your sewing machine. So this is your regular all-purpose sewing machine foot. The back of it is smooth and you've got your guide here between the two toes. And this is the area where it attaches to the foot on your sewing machine. This is the roller foot and it's the foot I'm going to be demonstrating today. As you can see the roller foot, this one has four wheels sometimes it'll have one wheel it just depends on which one you purchase this is the area where it attaches to the sewing machine then these four wheels on this one allow it to glide along your fabric you flip it over this section is smooth but the wheels go through from the front to the back okay, so with regular fabric when you've got it together and you're sewing with your all-purpose foot your feed dogs are underneath the fabric they're pulling it along and your presser foot just allows the fabric to move smoothly. That's great for your regular fabric. But when you have something like a thick fabric that has a nap, or you have something that is slippery like activewear fabric or even leather, the all-purpose foot is not able to slide across it as smoothly when those feed dogs are pulling it from underneath. As those feed dogs are feeding the fabric from underneath, the roller foot allows that top layer of fabric to just roll smoothly. That's going to avoid any skip stitches or any dragging from that top layer of fabric. When the fabric drags, that's when you get uneven stitches. Um, your fabric may even bunch up on you. If you don't do a lot of sewing that requires a roller foot and you don't want to purchase one to have on hand, if you have a Teflon foot, and this is the Teflon foot, and you can see the back of it has a Teflon coating, this foot will work. Now, depending on the fabric, if it's a thick fabric that has a nap to it, then you could use your walking foot. I would not use the walking foot, though, with leather. With leather, I would use the Teflon foot because that's what it's designed for, or the roller foot. Now, let's go ahead and head over to the sewing machine, and I'll give you a demonstration of how to use the roller foot. All right, I'm over at my sewing machine. As I mentioned before, my foot attaches with this bar here. I know I'm at the got the front of the foot because there is a fabric guide here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it snapped on. Take my thread tails under the presser foot into the back of the machine, and I do have my machine set up for heavy fabric. My machine automatically backstitches, but if yours does not, be sure you backstitch at the beginning and the end of your seams. We're going to lower the presser foot and begin sewing. Now with heavier fabric, you do want to make sure that you increase your stitch length. So as you can see, the wheels are just gliding on the top of the fabric and they're keeping the feet of the fabric even with the feed from underneath from the feed dogs. That's keeping the top and the bottom layer of the fabric even, even though it's a little bit slippery. Ed edge of my fabric so I'm going to go ahead and back stitch. Raise the presser foot and trim the threads. Makes it hard to see the stitches because of the pile of the fabric but try to pull that back a little bit. You can see I've got nice even stitches. My fabric did not bunch up on either side and when we open it up we have a nice clean seam. So if you have any questions about how to use the roller foot let me know down in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Down in the description below, you'll find a link to the blog post that gives a lot more detailed information about the roller foot and how to use alternatives if you don't currently have the roller foot. I've also included a link to where I purchased my roller foot if you're interested in purchasing one. And as always, be sure to visit letslearntosew.com for all your sewing and pattern making needs.